Welcome to my first class on chapter number 6, Triangles. Today I am going to give just an introduction to this chapter that is similar figures. Can you guess how do you calculate the height of a mountain or distance of moon from earth? Is it being directly measured by the help of a measuring tape? It won't. There we are using the principles of similarity of figures. Let us see how it works. Look at these two figures. Here these two are laptops. Here you can see the map of Asia. And here you can see two triangles. What is the speciality of these figures? Here you can see these two figures have in the same shape. Now what about its size? Now if you keep one upon other, what will happen? It will certainly coincides. That means these two figures have same shape and same size. Now what about the other? Here you can see these two map. That also when you keep one upon other, it coincides exactly. That means these two maps also have the same shape and same size. Now what about these two triangles? Here if you keep one triangle upon the other, it coincides exactly. All the sides, sides coincides exactly. That means these two figures having same shape and same size. This type of figures we can call it as congruent figures. This you have learned in the lower classes. So we can define congruent figures as two figures are said to be congruent if they have the same shape and the same size. Now look at some other figures. Here you have the photos of two covers and here two family photos. Are they congruent? Are they having same shape and same size? Obviously it is not. Then what about its shape? Yes, they have the same shape. Here you can see both cover having the same shape and here both of these pictures are look same. Then what is the difference? Here you can see the shape of the pictures are same but the sizes are not equal. Now what about the other picture? Here also you can see its shape are same but sizes are different. Such figures we can call it as similar figures. That is two figures having the same shape but not necessarily the same size are called similar figures. Now look at some geometrical figures. Here you can see circles. Are they congruent? No, it has different size so you cannot say they are congruent. But you can say they are all looks same. So these circles are all similar figures. Then what about the squares? Are they similar? Of course. Or having same shape but in different size so we can call it as similar figures. Here you have triangles. Are they similar? Here you can see these all triangles are equilateral triangles so we can say all having same shape so it is similar. Now what about these two equilateral triangles? Are they similar? Of course they are similar because it is equilateral. Now are they congruent? If I keep this triangle on the first, all the sides coincide exactly. That means these two triangles are congruent. That means these triangles are congruent and similar. Or we can say all congruent figures are similar, but all similar figures are, need not be congruent. Now, look at another example. Here you can see these two photos are similar. Now, 
if I resize this photo in this manner, can you say are these two figures are similar? Now look at the shape, it has been changed, so you cannot say it is not similar. Then what happened here? Now when we increase its size, it should be in proper proportion or if I increase or decrease the size in this way, it will not form similar figures. To form a similar figures, you have to increase its size proportionally. So the original picture and the increased enlarged figure, it should be of the same proportion. Then only the figures will become similar. Now let us look at another example. Here you have two quadrilateral. Are they similar? Yes. Of course, it having same shape, so we can say it. they are similar. Now, what about the measurement of its sides? Here, this is 5 cm. Then, what about the corresponding sides of the other quadrilateral? Yes, it is 10 cm. So, this is 5 cm is corresponding side of the other quadrilateral is 10 cm. Now what about the other sides? Here it is 4 cm and here it is 8 cm. Now look at the other side. Here it is 4 cm and here it is 8 cm. The fourth side is 3 cm and here it is 6 cm. Now look at these measures. Here what are the ratios of the corresponding sides? Here this side is 5 cm, the corresponding side is 10 cm and its ratio is 5 by 10 which is equal to 1 by 2. Now take the other side. One side is 4, then its corresponding side is 8, its ratio again is 1 by 2. The third side is 4 and corresponding side of the other quadrilateral is 8. So again you will get 1 by 2. And the fourth side is 3 and its corresponding side of the other quadrilateral is 6. So again you are getting 1 by 2. That means all the corresponding sides of two similar figures are in the same ratio or proportion. It is true for any similar points. Now what about its angles? If I take this quadrilateral and keep it here, that means these two angles are equal. Here also these angles are equal. Then what about this angle? That also equal. Here also these angles are equal. That means for two similar quadrilaterals, its angles are equal and its sides are proportional. This is true for any similar polygons. So we can conclude two polygons of the same number of sides are similar. The corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion. So before concluding, you have let what are similar figures. Similar figures are figures having same shape but need not be same size. And all circles, squares, equilateral triangles are similar. Now two polygons are similar in their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion. Now look at some textbook questions. Here is a very simple question. You do yourself. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.